Due to our economic climate, unemployment is on the rise. But put yourself in the position that you've lost your job because your company has moved abroad. Perhaps in your region there's very little work and you face a long period of unemployment or even the need to learn a new profession from scratch. Fortunately, a few years ago, European Commission President and EPP member José Manuel Barroso came up with a plan. Known as the European Globalisation Adjustment Fund, it aims to financially help workers in Europe who have suffered redundancies as a result of globalisation and assist them with their reintegration into the labour market. Created in 2006, the total annual budget available for the Globalisation Fund is 500 million euros. Each year, new requests for financial support can be made to the European Commission. The Commission proposal is then sent to the European Parliament for approval. The man responsible for the Parliament yeah, report is German <laughs> EPP member Reimer Berger. Mr Berger, who can apply for funding and how does Parliament decide which member states and or sectors receive the support? So member states have to ask for a special support and it's very important always to underline that it's not companies getting uh, the support and the money, it's a special fund for workers losing their jobs in the context of globalization. Of course the criteria are laid down in the rules, for example, if a factory is closing uh, and a company uh, uh, has to give up because uh, there was too much concurrence uh, in the context of globalization or a company is leaving Europe to invest in Asia or somewhere else and uh, workers are losing their jobs. Then, of course, we can try to support these workers for getting a better qualification so that they have a better chance to find another job in other companies in their surroundings. In the last three years, the telecom, textile and automotive sectors have all received funding. For 2009, Sweden and Austria applied for aid due to redundancies in their automotive sectors and the Netherlands in their construction industry. The combined proposal by the Commission amounts to over 15 million euros. Have there been any changes to the application and selection process this year? In special cases where, let's say, more than 500 uh, workers will lose their jobs, it was 1,000 in the past, so we were going down to 500, and so that also smaller and medium companies have the chance uh, to get a support for their workers. Uh, our support uh, with the Globalization Fund should nev never replace the responsibilities of companies or on our national authorities. So is this why you think that the banking sector has not been helped yet? Um, in principle, in theory, the banking sector could be involved as well. But uh, sorry, uh, there were billions of guarantees uh, for the bank sector. Normally there are qualified staff. Unfortunately, they do not use their qualifications sufficiently because they start casino again. And the EPP, the European People's Party, are they particularly in favour of the European Globalisation Fund? I know many programmes where we have less added value as we have uh, in this fund for globalization because here is a special chance to show a human face and to show that we are ready also to help individuals being in a very difficult situation and to open the door again that they have a future a reasonable income and also a future for their families and so the european globalization adjustment fund is a perfect example of how the european union is directly helping its citizens in times of crisis for more information, please visit our website at eppgroup.eu. Thank you for watching and see you again soon.